eight police officers in the hospital. B-boys and B-girls. Wait, what time is it? This is Coach Sambo, your online B-boy coach. Now give me five push-ups. So today in this video, I will be giving you good-looking folks out there 10 ways to enter the windmill. Some of them are really, really easy, but by the end of this tutorial, you'll see that some of them are really, really hard as well. So 10 windmill go-downs for all levels. Good deal, right? Don't forget you can tweet everything in this tutorial to make it your own, and you can use all these go-downs for any type of windmill variation you might master. So yeah, basically Basically, to enter a windmill, one must first be able to execute a windmill. If one thou cannot execute a windmill, then head on over to my YouTube channel and look for the best windmill tutorial on the net, besides the other one I've made, but that one's not on my channel. And subscribe right here, because believe me, you don't want to miss out on what is to come. And if you want to book me for workshops or classes, then just head on over to my website. So let's just make this magic happen. The first entry will be the basic power kick. The first hand you place on the floor is the hand you don't use for your baby freeze, followed by the opposite leg that takes off to the back. So if you baby freeze on your left, you should place your right hand first, and the other way around if you freeze on your right hand. And I'm sorry if all of this is really obvious for you guys, but I'm trying to make a tutorial for all the levels, including beginners. So usually I would recommend passing by the baby freeze because this is the best entry that gives you a good grip on the floor, maximizing the chance of building massive speed for your windmill. Another good tip is performing a low power kick. Keep yourself close to the floor so it's easier for you to catch that baby freeze. The second go down for the windmill is another traditional one and it's basically the entry for a backspin or what I call the ninja kick. I have a detailed video on backspins covering this whole breakdown. So check that out so I can move to the fun part of this video. The third option starts to get funky. I call this the power kick with one hand drop. So if you're trying this out for the first time, you definitely want to try this out on mats. What makes the landing possible is the leg pump that catches most of the weight when landing on the floor. If you are flexible, you can also catch this with the hips if you would rather keep those legs stretched. You can easily create more explosiveness by giving this transition that extra hop if you feel comfortable enough. The fourth go down for the windmill is basically using a few hop techniques in a creative way to make this go down possible for us. Definitely check out my one hand hop tutorial to help you out with this go down. So by using the pump position and technique, we are going to first perform a one hand hop from a power kick. From here, we are going to perform a second hop to our baby freeze, further giving us the entry to the windmill. If you use this go down or something similar, make sure your hops are clean and tight. The fifth windmill go down is basically half a flare. So the moment you place your second hand on the floor, you want to actually trick yourself by not doing so. And if you don't know how to flare, check out my tutorials. From here, you will automatically fall into a windmill. What you don't want is to make this look like a flare crash. So grab some pepper, salt, your own creativity, and get cooking. The sixth entry is the coin drop entry. To learn the coin drop, you also need a slight feel on the flare entry. But for coin drops, you want to create a curve with your arm first. Instead of placing your hand as you would do in a flare, you're going to let your arm slide all the way up to your shoulder while waiting for the right moment so you can roll onto your back. Momentum comes partially from the legs when creating that circle that I explain very clearly in my flare tutorial. When landing coin drops, especially if you're jumping like a maniac, you want to catch that landing again with the leg pump. Ah yeah, the good old leg pump. So the next one is infinite and really, really simple. We're going to use any freeze as a go down for a win. For this, you simply have to be able to make a swift transition into a baby freeze from the freeze you want to use. And if that's possible, then you can create really nice go downs for yourself. As long as you manage to hit that freeze and have a good windmill. And let me remind you of my windmill tutorial. For the next entry, we are going to use the opposite side of the baby freeze that we would usually use in a traditional windmill. And of course, a very small percentage of b-boys 
such as B-Boy Taufik, perform their power moves with the freeze learned on the other side. So let me get this straight with you guys. They're doing power moves in one direction, but they're actually using the other hand than most B-Boys use, creating new possibilities. And also this go down. And just to be clear on this, you, the B-Boys of the future, should actually be able to do freezes on both sides. So train your freezes on both sides. And don't forget, who's the coach here, man? So by performing a small power kick from your knees, you want to place your opposite freeze hand straight into that baby freeze. From here, you have to push off and dive inwards to hit that windmill. Keep your legs close when landing and remember the leg pump to catch that drop. Performing this one from a top rock, you want to still place your knee on the floor to make that entry nice and smooth. And if this works, then you can try this with one hand. And hey, look, a new and usable windmill variation for free. So hit that like button down there, supporting your coach right here that's making you the next BC1 champ. So now it's gonna start to get really, really hard. The back handspring to windmill. Ooh. And for this, you need to be able to do a really good windmill. You also need a really good handstand. And of course, you wanna be able to do a back handspring. So what we have to do first is block that handstand in the middle of that back handspring. If you can do a back handspring, but you get all nervous when you have to perform it, then I'm really, really sorry, but you're just not ready for this go down yet. Take a seat. Make that catch easier by starting really, really low. The higher your jump, the more weight you have to catch. If you manage to catch it while making the jump as low as possible, combined with your arm strength, you will make it possible to actually catch that handstand. The moment you manage to catch that handstand, you want to connect with the baby freeze so we can relax and enter the windmill. And here is the last one for today, kids. And this one's from my personal stash. It's the suicide kip up to windmill. So for this, you need to be able to do the suicide kip up, and I don't have a suicide kip up at the moment, but there will be one soon. Unless you're watching this video in 2025, then just use your iPhone 23 and look up the suicide kip up tutorial. So here's the way I managed to make this one possible. While exiting the kip up, I push myself off towards the ceiling, so I look for the handstand position. I do this by kicking all the way up. Before going to the windmill, I actually use a handstand in between, giving me the option to play with music. <laughs> and giving me more time to execute every step with care. From the handstand, as usual, you pass through a baby freeze. So if you manage to do this, then please do it your own way because you do not want to be biting Coach Sambo, of course. Thank you for understanding. And if you need any tips or feedback on these moves, then send me the videos to my Instagram so I can help you out. Besides that, in the comments below, you should actually tell me what tutorials you want me to make next because I can make any tutorial you want. Footworks, freeze combos, shoulder halos, or maybe even even how to catch beats. No worries, I got you bro. And be honest, like really honest. This was a pretty good tutorial, right? Then spam the comment section because it's really, really simple. The more you react to this video, the more my videos rank up to number one. Number one. And then the more people I can actually help out. Because Coach Sambo, it's here for you bro. Because at the end of the day, when you think about it, it's all about that b-boy shit.